In this video, we're going to be doing this easy camera flash effect. There's also going to be a couple of freebies at the end, so stick around for that. So opening up After Effects here, we've got this standard stock image clip that we're going to be adding our effect to. And this is just a standard 1920 by 1080p composition. And the first thing we're going to do is decide where we're going to freeze frame our clip, which for me is going to be right on the one second mark. So I'm going to click on the layer and press Control Shift D to split the layer. And on this layer, I'm going to right click and click Time Freeze Frame. We're then going to come up to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. And we're going to cut it there by pressing Alt Square Bracket. And then using Video Copilot's Effects Console, we're going to add our first effect, which will be an exposure. We're going to set a keyframe on the exposure and we want to increase this to blow out the highlights a bit. So we'll go for about 1.25. And then we'll jump forward 20 frames by pressing Shift, Page Down, Page Down. And I'll press U on the keyboard to bring up that keyframe. And I'll change that to zero. And let's see what that's done. Okay, this is going to act as the base to our camera flash, but we need it to be a bit quicker. So I'm going to highlight the second keyframe and right click it, click keyframe assistant and click easy ease, or I can press F9 on the keyboard. Once that's eased, I'll highlight this keyframe and click on the graph editor. And this graph should pop up. It might look like this. And if it does, that's okay. Just click on this button here and change to the speed graph. Both graphs are definitely worth learning, but this is just a little trick you can do. So I'll grab this little toggle here and holding shift, I'll pull it all the way this way and see how that's coming down like that. We want it in line with where it was before like that. And I'll let go. And let's look at the difference. That's much quicker now, so it does the effect much quicker and fades it out more gradually. So that's the first effect. The next one we're going to add is a fast box blur. We'll set a keyframe on the blur radius and turn it up to 20. And make sure repeat edge pixels is ticked. And then we'll come along 20 frames again by pressing shift page down, page down. And we'll change it back to zero. And press U in the keyboard to pop it up again. And exact same thing again, F9 on the keyboard to easy ease into the graph editor. Grab this toggle, hold shift and pull it along. Here's how it looks with the blur added. Okay, we're getting there. Next effect, we're going to push into the screen as it flashes. So we'll add a transform effect. And on the scale function, we'll bump that up to 120 and add a keyframe. And then come forward 20 frames again, shift, page down, page down. And change it back to 100. And we'll press U on the keyboard again. And on that new keyframe we've made, we'll press F9 again into the graph editor, holding shift and drag along. And here it is with the third effect. This is getting much closer to the effect we want now. So we've got one more we're going to add and that's going to be an optics compensation. So I'll add that. First thing with this effect is to make sure the reverse lens distortion is ticked. And then we'll add a keyframe on the field of view and we'll bump this up to about 50. And then we'll press U on the keyboard twice and along to those keyframes and we'll change it back to zero, making a new keyframe and pressing F9 on the keyboard into the graph editor, drag it along. So the difference in this one is a lot more subtle. This affects it around the edges. So if I turn off the effect and turn it on, you can see it is just slightly distorting the edges. That's a more subtle effect, but these ones really help set the effect a lot better. So the way we have it just now is actually quite a good effect just for a freeze frame type of effect. I've actually got a preset up here called camera flash. So for now, I'll just delete that adjustment layer and I'll add a new one in by pressing control alt Y and pressing alt square bracket to cut it to where it is again. And I'll drag on camera flash there. And that's got us to where we were before, just a little bit quicker. That is a preset I have available in my store. There are, are a bunch of good freebies in there, but you can get that by the link in the description. There's also a couple more elements that you can get along with it that I will show you just now. Okay, the next step on this effect, we're going to take these Polaroid images. Uh, and these are also available for free when you download the preset in the store. I'm going to use Polaroid 1 on this one, so I'll drag that into my layer. And I'll scale it down. So I probably want it about that size there. And I'll take that background still image and I'll duplicate it. And we'll rename this one photo. And we'll rename our adjustment layer camera flash. 
And this bottom one we'll rename background. So we'll take that photo layer and we'll drag it up and scale it so that the Rhino fits into the Polaroid. Like that. And then I'm going to select that photo layer and then taking my pen tool here from the menu at the top, uh, I'm going to draw a little square just under the Polaroid to cut out just the Rhino. Like that. And I'm going to take the pick whip and pick whip it to the Polaroid. And then I'll take this Polaroid, I'll put it under the camera flash and I'll cut it right on the cut. So let's watch that. Okay, I'm going to take my Polaroid layer and I'm just going to change the rotation of it ever so slightly. And then I'm going to come to the first layer and we'll put a keyframe on that rotation and come forward 20 frames. And we'll keyframe again there. And over here we'll just take it back by about minus 10 degrees. And then I'll hit Shift S on the keyboard to bring up my scale parameter. I'm going to keyframe that there and then I'll come forward 20 frames. And I'm just going to scale it back a bit to about here. Now select both of these keyframes, hit F9 on the keyboard into the graph editor. This time I'll be shifting two keyframes along, so I'll just hold Shift and drag them along like that. And let's see how that looks. Okay, I'm going to blur out the background, so I'm going to add a fast box blur again. And I'll turn that up to 20. And then selecting the photo, we're going to add a drop shadow and we'll increase the distance a little bit until we can start to see it. And then we'll turn the softness up to about 100 and pull it back in a bit, so maybe 75. And we'll put the opacity up to about 60 for that one. And we'll duplicate it and we'll push it out a little further, maybe 150. And softness can go up to 220. And then we'll bring the opacity on this one down to 30. And then one more time, and we'll call this 350 on the softness, and opacity can be 15. I'm going to add one very subtle effect to the photo, and that's going to be a light sweep. And we'll put that up here on top of the shadows, so it's not showing on the shadows, like that. We'll change the shape to smooth, and we'll make it a bit wider. And we want this to be really subtle, so we'll turn the sweep intensity down to about 5, maybe 8. And we'll drag our indicator along to where these keyframes are, where we will keyframe the centre of that. And we'll go back to the cut. And then on the centre here, we're just going to animate it over here so it sweeps across as the photo comes in. Uh, I'll press U on the keyboard and that'll bring up the keyframes and we'll do the exact same trick again with the easy easing. We'll press F9 on the keyboard into the graph editor. Holding shift, drag it along, and let's see how that looks. And the last thing you need to do is add in your sound effects because that will really sell the entire effect. So drag that in there and I'll pull it along to about there. And this is the final product. And that is the whole effect. Remember to get those freebies in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.